Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. And mowers and blowers. I'm over here at my mom's house. I haven't seen her in like a month. So, uh, thought I'd come over here and uh, check out the situation with all the fall leaves coming down. I figured I'd have a ton to scoop up, you know what I mean? But surprisingly, my mom, being like 75 years old, has actually swept up a lot of leaves on her own. You know, it's good exercise. I'm kind of surprised that the grass hasn't grown very much at all. You know what I mean? I brought over this uh, electric weed whacker and uh, my Snap Fresh um, Sawzall so I can maybe cut some branches and I'll just keep this here because I definitely do not want to use that, you know? Bought a couple of new garbage cans over here for her, for the leaves. And let's see what the situation is in the back. I might have to pull out my Vandermolen backpack leaf blower, blow some leaves into one area so I can just suck it up with the black beauty. Oh, it's not bad, you know, but I think with just the black beauty, sucking it up, it'll be fine. I wouldn't have to blow anything, you know? So that'll be good. That'll, that'll be very good. Uh, what I do need to do is, I do have to, um, put the bagger bins onto the Black Beauty because right now it's set up for mulching. You remember a little while ago, I did um, come over here and um, welded the deck because I ran the deck into like a curb or something. And um, I had to weld it back together again. So I have a mulch plug on it. So I'm going to now um, convert my mulching system over to a bagger system. So it's really easy to actually do it. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. So the way this is made, the flap goes up. It's got a couple of wing nuts over here that holds the metal mulch plug. It's a plug, it's quite, they call it a mulch plug, but in reality, it's just a cover, you know? When you have the hole covered, the grass clippings do not fly out the side discharge hole, but rather they're blocked by this metal cover, see? fastened on by a carriage bolt onto a wing nut. Same goes for this side over here on the top. They're all in different locations with different models, such as like uh, Craftsman LT1000s. It's really a plastic one, and it has like these rubber bands that just clip on, which is a lot easier to remove. But the Murray one is, I think they have a metal one and a plastic one. As you guys recall, I uh, I welded this a while back. It looks okay. So I have this here. This is this this has been fabricated a few times because you know over time, over time it gets like crunched up and everything. As you can see, I patched it before, but it's uh, very expensive to have this piece. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm gonna fish these. I'm going to fish this carriage bolt in here and put the wing nuts back on. Fish the carriage bolt from the bottom, put the wing nut on. It's really not designed all that great because the wing nut is so big that it gets in the way, you know what I mean? And you have to hold it with your hand on the bottom, you know? kind of inconvenient. I'd, I'd rather much have the rubber bands that just pull and snap and clip somewhere, you know? This is more of a more of a permanent way to do it, you know? I'd rather just it be temporary. Same goes for the one on the front. You can fish your hand under here, get the carriage bolt, find the hole. There we go. It's a terrible angle, you know what I mean? Can't even get it through the hole. Gotta have octopus arms just to get it through here.
There we go, sons of guns. And just fish this on. Pull it out a little bit more so that the square part of the carriage bolt adheres onto the uh, shape of the hole, which is square. I'm gonna be using this pretty much the entire winter, or not the winter, but the fall. So it's on here for a good amount. So I'm not, now I've got the big hood. This is the heaviest part of it. Basically there's a bracket that's on your tractor already. Just slip it in the hole. And it's held up like that. I have a uh, rod with a pin that goes in there to hold it here, but honestly, unless you're jumping ramps or something, it's not going to go anywhere. Next, we have the bins. Uh, I was looking for that um, thing that goes into that hole, but I can't find it anywhere. These are the plastic bins that it comes with, two of them. You had to put them together. There it is. Keep it secure. And now you just put the bins on. I know this seems like a very uh, fundamental thing, basic thing. But for people who um, don't understand how the bins go on, this is how easy it is. Also, for those people who think that all bagger bins and bagger systems fit on all tractors, it's absolutely not true. There are different baggers for different manufacturers. Like the Murray bagger will only fit on a Murray tractor. The uh, Craftsman baggers, they have the two bin ones, they got the three bin ones, they got the mesh bins too. Uh, unless you have the right bracket, it may or may not fit Husverna tractors too, because Husverna and Craftsman are uh, both AYP products. Unless you have a very recent Craftsman tractor, which is made by MTD, which has an entirely different bagger system. Bagger systems brand new can cost between $350 and $800, depending on the type of tractor you have. If you have a zero turn tractor, it's even more expensive. And zero turn, uh, baggers don't necessarily fit on lawn tractors or riding mowers and vice versa. It's very complicated. Next we have the main tube. In this case it's a somewhat clear one. Stuff this part inside the hole of the hood. It's curved at the end so you have to just kind of weasel it in there. this over the winter and now it doesn't look like it fits There's the bagger system installed onto my tractor, which now I will use to suck up leaves. Problem now is, this is now wider by three inches. As you guys know, I could barely get the tractor through here without it. So that might be an issue, a big issue. Just gonna have to find out, but first, I'm going to do some weed whacking.
works like clockwork. It's one of the most reliable machines I've ever had. And again, I do take care of it, you know? So once you fit, I just finished sucking up all the, uh, well, I mowed too, you know? So I mowed, and at the same time, it sucked up leaves too. So because it's fall, you gotta put this stuff in a clear bag so that the sanitation department, garbage men, know that they're picking up leaves and not clippings because they won't pick up clippings in my neighborhood and in this neighborhood either. So they'll only pick up leaves. So yes, there is a little bit of grass in there, but it's predominantly leaves. And that's why they want you to put it in clear bags so they can see right away. Otherwise, they'll rip the black bag just to see if it's clippings or leaves. So with a bagger system on your riding mower or your lawn tractor, it makes fall cleanups that much easier to do, you know? Very easy. So this filled up both bins. Just for the front yard, I know the backyard is gonna probably take three bags worth for sure. I'm gonna have to stop three or four times maybe just to get rid of this stuff. It's a pain, but hey, you want trees, you want seasons, it's what you gotta do. Bins go back on like this. They always tell you that the wording has to be pointed backwards. Over the years, I've run this thing into trees and stuff, so it's kind of bent out of whack a little. You do close it, a little bit does fly out the sides and stuff, but that's minimal, you know? Now my biggest challenge is to get this thing through the side alley to the backyard. I don't think I've ever tried it with the bagger system on it. So, man, I don't know. I don't think it'll make it, to be honest with you. It's gonna be very difficult. I'm, gonna do, I'm just gonna go really slow, you know?
Mowing the mowers.